This is music theory part four. Uh, uh, the last video I made was kind of messed up, so I thought I'd come back and do the corrections here. Um, I was missing a chord in the last video of the circle progression, so I'm going to kind of run through it here and get it corrected. Okay, we're going to do a circle progression starting at the chord A, or the root of A, which is A, C, and E. And we're going to go ahead and pull that out to a bar. And let's make it a little bit lower. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, the fifth of A is ACE, which is E. So then we're going to then make an EGB chord. And uh, we're going to put it in, uh, we're going to put it in first inversion. Uh, so that way the bass will move down by step. Uh, there's our E. There's our B. See, as you can see, we have some movement here from the C down to the B and from the A down to the G. That's going to create a natural type sound. Okay, and then G, B, D, the fifth of D, the fifth of G is D. So now we're going to make a D, F, A chord, which we can do this way. So as you can see, we're moving upward by step here. Um here uh, from the E to the F and we're moving upward by step from the G to the A as well and that's what it sounds like alright and uh, let's see here G, B, D, D, F, A and the fifth of uh, wait a minute here A, C, E, A, G, B okay the fifth of B is uh the fifth of uh, E is B, my bad, so this is a B chord here, <laughs> see I'm still screwing up, it's a B, D, F chord, so we'll probably go down by step one more, leave the B there, and then go up right there, so it's a B, D, F chord as the third chord, my, guys, my bad, so we got A, C, E, E, G, B, and then B, D, F. And then we're going to have an FAC chord, which we could leave this like this, and then go C, and then A right here. I don't really like the way this is jumping around too much, but uh, you get the principle. You can mix any type of inversion of the chord that you want. Um, so we had a BDF and then an FAC. duplicated the F's there, so now it's a D, it should sound better. Okay, now we're going to have a C, E, G chord, and I'm going to move this up, back up to G, and then have my C here, and then my E here. And so there's our C, E, G, and let's go ahead and add a G, B, D, which is the fifth of C. Um, we can leave that there, G, B, D that way we'll be moving down by step from the E here and from the C. Okay, and here we had a B D or, or let's see. Oh man, I get confused when I get in the middle of one of these things. C, E, G, and then a G, B, D. And now we're going to have a D, F, A chord. And we're going to move that up by step. We're going to leave that. And we're going to move this up to here. Um, I guess really you could go down by step again here. And then do it this way. I, actually, I would do it this way. And then you're going to go back to the original DFA, the fifth of D is A. So you're going to go back to the original ACE chord, which you could then move down by step again. So I, this is going to sound really nice here. Our, uh, this is a complete real circle progression. My last video was messed up. Uh, miss, I missed that DFA chord there, but here it is. And it looks like I've built a little bit better of a st song structure here, too. If you break it down, you could think of the A here, the G here, 
and the F here as a bass line. So you could play, you know, A over, you know, you could play, you could repeat A in a in a certain time, and, uh, and then G, and then F, and have that be your bass line, and all that for this bottom row of notes, and then convert the rest of this to the rest of the instrumentation of the song. But here's the final progression, uh, and this is what it should look like when you're done. Well, not necessarily if you chose to use different inversions than I did, but should you have choose to follow exactly as my video says, this is exactly what it'll look like when you're done. But there's many different ways that you can arrange this set of chords here with the different inversion types. And remember, first inversion is where the third is in the bass, which is down here, down low. And second inversion is where the fifth is in the bass. I'm going to add a 7th to this A here, so it sounds like it's ready to change back to the A here. Uh, anytime you add a 7th to a chord, this is an A-C-E chord. So, I think, yeah, it's an A-C-E chord, so the 7th is going to be G. Anytime you add a 7th to a chord, it creates uh, a feeling of uneasiness or need to change. And I think we're going to add our G here. We might move it up here, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Let's start it here. I liked it down here better. Anyways, guys, that wraps it up this time. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll catch you next time.